Ladies and gentlemen, boys and enemies, welcome back to Warzone, and we got a doozy to talk about today, so make sure to like the video and subscribe if you are new here. Over 85% of my viewers are not subscribed, so definitely make sure you are, because when I make finds like this, I want to make sure you get them as soon as possible. Like the video, like I said, to make sure as many people see this as possible, and if you think there is something better than what I have for you today, comment below and let me know, and if I changed your entire game, I'll so let me know. Now let's get into this. All right, so first and foremost, I wanted to start on the Car 98K because it's dominating the war zone right now. And I've given you guys this loadout before because we have a decent one shot range here, but we also have a ton of aim idle sway and firing aim stability built in here. So we can actually hit our shots at those longer ranges as well. This is definitely the best Car 98 build, but the Car 98 is not even a top three sniper anymore. Let's run this over and then I'll explain why. We're gonna use the Silentium 792 suppressor and instead of the sonic suppressor, because though we are going to lose a small amount of one shot range, we're going to get even more bullet velocity, and we're also going to get a ton of aim idle stability. So this is just better for hitting quick flicks, as well as those longer shots where you have to plan your trajectory. We're then going to throw on the, I'm not even going to try to pronounce it, long barrel to get more of that velocity and maximize range. We're going to use high grain for the same reasons, the Ole V laser for the stability, aim down, and sprint out speeds, and and then I use the SPX optic. You can use that or you can use the Car 98 optic. Any of the three work absolutely well on this gun. I just prefer this one to the other two. The Car 98 is not a bad choice. I'm sure you die to it multiple times a day because I do. But there, there are guns that are so much better and it's time to get into it. Like the one I talked to you guys about yesterday and that is the FJX Imperium with its one shot anywhere on the map capabilities. You could be in pop off power and clap someone off a skyscraper downtown if you had the line of sight. You could shoot cross map from military base all the way into downtown or anywhere else. It has a one shot headshot at any range and with the build that we have on, you have a bullet velocity of 1,018 meters per second. The FJX Imperium is absolutely the best sniper option in the game, bar none. I have said that yesterday and I'll say it again. The build we have here is with the Nilsau 90 because our damage range does not matter. We want the maximum velocity off of the attachment. You can run the sonic suppressor and you will lose just a little bit of that. Velocity dropping to 1165 from the 1200 plus that we had before and gain a small amount of damage range but again it doesn't matter because we can one shot headshot anywhere. You'll gain some of your aim down sight speed back so I guess if you want a quick scope a little bit faster make this swap over but I wouldn't. I would stick with what we had before with the nil sound making sure to get that 1080 18 meters per second bullet velocity. We're using the Chimera RYL 33 laser so we can get our aim down and sprint times up as far as possible. We also get a little bit of hip fire here just in case we need to panic no scope or trick shot no scope. Whatever is your cup of tea. You can use the Heinrichter hybrid scope on here or you can take that off and put the long barrel on and maximize your bullet velocity which will push you to 1350 meters per second which is absurd. I use the Rib 400 and I think you should too because you're going to gain a ton of aim idle way and a bit of recoil control and hip fire once again for styling on people. Recoil control is actually an important thing here because if you haven't used the Imperium in a while it has a lot of kick after you fire so that little bit of recoil control helps you recenter for follow-up shots faster. High velocity in the gun once again because we don't care about getting our range pushed out we want maximum velocity and that's how we're getting to 1218. Even if we wanted to use high grain you currently cannot unlock it for this gun this makes me think there's an aftermarket part coming. So once again, like I said, Heinrichter, in my opinion, is the best option because with this, it's going to take 5% aim down sight speed off, and it's also going to let you move a little faster while aiming down sights. However, we all know the FJX Imperium has a wonderful scope stock. So if you want to throw on the long barrel and push your bullet velocity to 1383 and a half meters per second, you absolutely can do so. However, you will have an almost 700 millisecond aim down sight speed. That's why I prefer to run the Heinrichter. Another option that you can run is absolutely throwing on the FJX Blast, which will take your rate of fire from 50 to 57, allowing an extra seven shots per minute. I don't think it's really worth it, in my opinion, but that is a choice you can make. The Heinrichter, in my opinion, is the absolute best option on this gun. Another one that is definitely worth using, if you have it, is the Heatsink Drexum Prime 90, because this thing will allow you to see targets across the map with ease. 
This thing is lovely. And as far as these dummies go, these dummies are incredibly broken. If you haven't figured out by now, they don't fall over for anything anymore. That is a one shot. And then staying on brand of one shot snipers, the Victus XMR does exactly 300 damage to the head, no matter what the range is. It's minimum damage, meaning the furthest away is exactly 300 damage to the head. So it is a one shot sniper to the head anywhere on the map. And with this build, once again, we are going to hit a 1,000 165 meter per second bullet velocity which will allow us to absolutely clap 538 for the ads and 236 for the sprint to fire both very respectable on a 50 cal sniper this is essentially the exact same build it's the ftac homeland instead of the rib 400 this is for stability then we have the chimera ryl 33 laser for aim down and sprint out we've got the high vel for the same reason as before to maximize our velocity so we can clap heads at those long distances yet we still have that respectable aim down to clap them in a rush. Heinrichter once again is going to give us an ADS boost, allowing us to get our shots off faster, and it is a beautiful optic. The Victus is absolutely back in the top tier meta category, but I would say the Imperium is definitely better. And well boys, the MCPR is also back as a one-shot sniper at any range. All three are the big three now. These are the best snipers in the game. This build, once again, matches the others because it's just the optimal sniper build. This is exactly what I ran all last year in Warzone and in DMZ. Absolutely clapping, but the difference is it's a one shot now. At any range, if you hit the head, you can absolutely slap your targets. Nil sound 90 and the high velo to push our velocity as high as possible, which on the MCPR is going to bring you to 1,218 meters per second, which is a very, very nice. Now you do have a 609 millisecond aim down sight speed with this but you have 10 rounds before you have to reload instead of five so that is the trade-off you're gonna use the cronin lion stock to get stability and make sure this thing has zero sway same goes to the old av but this is also going to give us aim down and sprint out heinrichter hybrid because once again we're looking to bring that ads as low as possible you could swap out for the fast bolt or the ads rear grip or even throw the long barrel on this those are your other options however i personally think this is the absolute best build for all all three of these guns. All three will one shot headshot at any range, I promise you, or your money back. However, boys, there's also a marksman rifle I want to talk to you guys about that I've never seen anyone else using, and this gun has a five shot kill potential without headshots at any range. You hit two headshots, it's a three shot kill. You hit one, it's a five shot kill. The KVD Enforcer is absolutely magnificent. The bullet velocity with this build is 1,063 meters per second, which is very respectable while we're keeping at 383 milliseconds of aim down sight speed. It is extremely easy to control this gun. We've got the ZLR Talon 5 suppressor with the Kaz 10 584 millimeter barrel. We have the Old AV laser to give us stability, aim down, and sprint out while we're getting a velocity, recoil, stability, every stat you could possibly want from our barrel and our muzzle. We have the 20 round mag on so we can continue to send shots and keep the pressure on. And then the Heinrichter hybrid scope because it is the fastest option with a beautiful reticle inside the scope that we can use. This gun is so slapped on and you will absolutely slap car 98s with this so long as you're paying attention because you will aim down sight almost twice as fast as they can and you can follow up shots before they can even get halfway through rechambering. The KVD Enforcer is a gun that should actually go into your rotation, especially in duos and trios. Another gun that works absolutely phenomenally alongside someone else running one of the three, the big three snipers or even the car 98 is the FR556. This is a burst rifle, but it will absolutely slap targets at 300 meters all day, every day. We're gonna use the Echolus 80 to push our velocity through the roof with the high grain ammo because this thing has essentially no recoil and we're gonna get a very respectable bullet velocity of 977 meters per second, which for an assault rifle is very nice and this will allow us to hit those shots out to about 300 meters. We're gonna use a 60 round mag that gives us a whole whopping 20 bursts when we pull the trigger so we can keep the pressure on the AOK four times RQ9 recon because we have a zero glint while using this and a four times zoom with the FSS Ole V laser giving us our stability aim down and sprint out to make this thing phenomenal the FR556 is another gun that is S tier meta and absolutely slept on give it a try even in solos this one is wonderful and then all right to finish out this video I'm going to give you some more sniper support options within this video first and foremost
Cosmos, the M13C or M13 Charlie is magnificent. They did take the 60 round mag off when Modern Warfare 3 dropped. You can only get a 45 round mag on this. Not a very big deal, but just keep that in mind. It does have a slower fire rate than the M13B, so you won't really feel it, but it's only a 45 rounder. The M13 Charlie is a monster. It's viable to about 35 meters, and we're going to use the Zem 35 compensator for that recoil control and keeping off the mini map as much as possible. The X10 Phantom 5 will give us vertical recoil as well as aim down sight and sprint to fire. This is such a clutch attachment that no one's using. This is so much better than so many of the other attachments I see people using every single day. The VLK 7 milliwatt laser, the aim down, sprint out, and aim stability. Once again, 45 round mag, largest option we have. And then you can either use the Bruin Flash V4 stock to up your movement speeds, or you can throw on the glassless or optic of your choice. I prefer the irons on this. It has very good irons. The M13C is absolutely a top tier sniper support option. However, if you're looking for something to get hyper aggressive with behind your sniper, the Striker 9 is definitely for you. This thing flies, it fries. This is essentially the Lockman sub of this game. It is incredible. We're going to use the Zem 35 compensator for the same reasons as always. We're going to throw in the Striker Elite long barrel to get some recoil, range, and velocity, as well as aim stability. The DR6 hand stop so we can get movement speed as well as aimed on sight and sprint to fire. The Lockman BR400 extended stock so we can get our movement speeds pushed through the roof. And then I use the 40 round mag unless I'm in quads. In quads, I'll throw the 50 on, but anywhere else, the 40 should be enough. But if you want to take the 50, it's not a big deal. The Striker 9 is an absolute demon. You've probably died to it a lot in the last week or two. It's this, the Sapari, and the Horus everyone are using. Jumping back over to a Modern Warfare 2 gun, we've got the Chimera, which the Chimera is another gun that will absolutely slap the Sapari. This thing hits like a truck, has a high fire rate, and it has decent mobility. Zem 35 compensator, same reason as always. We are going to use the 5.5 inch EXF OP40 barrel. This is mainly so we can put the Zem compensator on, but it also gives you a benefit to stats that you will want. BLK 7 milliwatt laser, aim down, sprint out, stability as always. DR6 hand stop to maximize our sprint to fire, aim down sight, but also get some of those movements that we want. And then 45 round mag is our largest option. The Chimera is an absolute demon. I cannot decide if I like the Chimera or the M13C more. That's a choice that you're going to have to make for yourself. And then next up, I got the WSP9, which this is probably still my personal favorite sniper support option. And that's because it just, it hits like an absolute truck. It moves so fast. It's the perfect gun. Zem 35 compensator because it's an overpowered attachment. 40 round mag should be enough even in quads. Take the 50 if you really need to. Chimera RYL 33 laser. Aim down, sprint out. All those good stats. We want that. Duster heavy stock for the aim and fire stability. This will bring your shot clusters together. Make sure every shot hits the target so there's no RNG in your shots. Marauder rear grip to make sure that you can control the recoil absolutely to death. If you do need an optic, I would take the Marauder off and throw your optic on. This build is phenomenal. I am running this gun every day, all day. I am in love with it. This is the one for me and I'm going to keep on doing it. However, there's one other gun that I have been running a lot as well still and that is the Striker. The Striker is another ultimate sniper support option, especially with this build. We're going to use the ECS for quieter suppressor, keep us off the mini map, up our aim down sight speeds, the XRK Edge BW4 hand stop. This maximizes movement while still giving a bit of aim down and sprint out. The Striker Elite long barrel for range, velocity, and recoil control. The Lockman Recon stock so we can get our aim stability up to par. And then the 48 round mag is enough even in quads. To me, this is the perfect submachine gun for sniper support. This will beat out the Sapari in group fights because it has more rounds and fires slightly slower. The Striker is the best option for trios or quads in sniper support, in my personal opinion. And all right, boys, let me know what you think of the big three Modern Warfare 2 snipers being back as one-shotters cross-map, absolutely slapping people in the next zip code because I am hyped for it and I am very interested to see what happens with Season 4 Reloaded. But until next time, leave me alone and like the video. Tragedy